Marshall Division at a weight contract of 135 pounds. And his... So, mag-reaction lang po tayo dito sa laban ni Alvin Tam, isang igorot professional boxer na naka-base sa ano, Canada. It's brought to you by Mario Fiesta. And now, the official fighter introductions. In the Supreme Menswear Blue Corner, he's 7, 3, and 2 as a professional with three knockout wins. He's 33 years old and stands 5 feet, 5 inches tall. He weighed in at 133 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Monterey, Mexico. Please welcome Rodillo Romero. And his opponent in the front corner with a 14 and 6 professional record for po si Alvin Tam isa po siyang ano taga Kapangan Bingkit po siya isa po siyang Igorot siya po ay nakabase ngayon sa Canada ang laban po nila ni Rotelo Romero ay ano sa fourth round po is knockdown si ano dito Rotelo Romero panoorin po natin by way of knockout. He's 34 years old and stands 5 feet at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta. Please welcome Alvin Babyface to Southend This bout is contested under professional rules. The referee in charge. Andy Social. Andy Social, Social will be in charge in this matchup between Rutio Romero and Alvin Tam. Tam coming out of the red corner with the red and gold trunks. It's the pink and black trunks for Romero. Out again, known for his toughness across the board. And Alvin Tam punches with incredible power. So it's going to be an interesting matchup between these two. One known for having an incredible chin one known for having incredible power. Exciting to see Alvin Tam back in at the Dakota ring. The man who brings 150 fans in attendance every time. He is the Igorot warrior, the huge national pride of the Philippines, a fighter who is no stranger to tough fights, and he has one hell of one in front of him today. Rotilla Romero, Known as a grinder, a guy who will stick in there, take punishment, and give as much back. So, be exciting to see this fight develop over six three-minute rounds. When if you look at, of course, the pedigree of Alvin Tam, good body shot from Ruta, and a good return on the left hand by Alvin Tam. Uh, you look at Alvin Tam, the former WBC Asian Boxing Council Continental Featherweight Champion. And uh, he held that title back in 2012 and uh, hit a bit of a, a skid in regard to his losing streak, but he has put that behind him against uh, Lugano in his last fight and now looking to put forth another big winning streak. And he will do so if he continues to punch like that. Lots of power coming from Alvin Tam. Tam may not have the reach, but as you mentioned, he's got the power. So... Hopefully he's going to continue to press forward, but I hope Rotillo is here to fight and he's got that smile on. I think this is going to be matched up to be one of the greatest fights of the night. And that is no small feat with the fights that we've had this evening. Alvin Tam in tight, eating some shots from Romero to get one in return. Every one of Alvin Tam's fight, he does not throw that many jabs. He is a power puncher. Will throw the punches or throw the jabs to find range, but will exclusively deal in power punches when he gets in close. He wants to hurt you. Alvin is a nice guy, professional athlete. He wants to hurt his opponent with every single punch. But there's one to the body by Rodello Romero that definitely left a mark on Alvin Tam. 
Great left by Alvin Tam, landed. And a straight right coming from Ruta. Great body shot, followed up by a straight jab there from Rutila Romero. Nice short combination by Alvin Tam with the uppercut and that hook. Both fighters landing with kind of equal ferocity. It's a difficult round to call. Very difficult round to call. And uh, both Jay and I thinking the same thing, that perhaps uh, Rutillo Romero got the better of that one, just in the accuracy of the strikes and the fact that he was the more aggressive of the two fighters. By a hair. By yeah, a hair. Not by much. Elvin definitely with the power strikes. But uh, as you mentioned before, uh, one of the things that I definitely like to look like, look at, excuse me, and again, my unofficial scorecard is the... As Alvin Tam gets some final instructions from his corner. Coming into round two. Again, he, he looks in a lot better shape. I, I remember the one thing that that I took from his fight against uh, uh, against Perez, uh, Jesus Perez, in which he was uh, uh, on the losing end of that one, was he looked to be out of shape. Even after round one, he looked to be very tired. Here he looks in quite good shape, and uh, perhaps this the the Alvin Tam that's carrying forward that winning tradition from his last fight. Yeah, he definitely had some ring rust at that Jesus Perez fight. Definitely was uh, not in the shape he wanted to be. But Jesus Perez, an incredible competitor. We've seen a couple of times in the Takata ring. So Alvin uh, has got his work still cut out for him with uh, with Romero here. So I do, as we mentioned before, gave that first round to him. But Alvin's looking to make his own exclamation mark here early in the second. Right hand that comes from Alvin Tam. A big power punch left that misses. Down inside body shot as both fighters land inside. That uppercut landed. You hear some cheers from the crowd. Every time that Alvin Tam lands, he has 150 people here just cheering away. Sold out here at the Deerfoot Inn Casino and an uppercut that landed. Left body shot with the uppercut combination. Beautifully executed by Alvin Tam. Left hand after a return, after a left body shot. Another straight right. Rotillo tried to move around Alvin, regain that control of the center of the ring. Romero has fought both as a southpaw and an orthodox. He will switch it up. Cool, great, straight right to the body, followed by that left hook by Romero. Patience being shown by both fighters. Glancing blows off the top of Alvin Tam's head, and that one hit the hip. Beautiful. You can hear the, the cheers from the fans in this sold-out crowd. Both fighters are landing to the body, and when they do land to the body, they're landing right on that belt line. It is close to being low. And there's a right hand that is not low there because it lands right to the face of Romero from Alvin Tam. Very passionate crowd. <laughs> Which is something we love to love to hear and see. I won't give you the Tagalog uh, translation of that one. <laughs> oh, little taunt there by Romero. Showing Alvin, come on, bring it on. But Alvin again, landing the strike. You saw the referee, Andy Social, call for him. Or Romero. There's a right hand that lands from Romero, and that stunned Alvin Tam very briefly. Romero's got to be careful not to drop that head. He's going to get warned by Andy. He was more aggressive in the round. See the corner of Romero there discussing with him just how they would like this to go. And the timekeeper ever present getting round three underway. Alvin looking for a little bit of touch gloves there and uh, Rotillo not returning the favor. So Alvin returns his own favor with a straight right to the chin. Right hand that lands, and some return combinations from Rotillo. You know, Alvin, every punch is intending to hurt. He definitely drops that hand when he comes in hard with the, the swooping punches, and there's an example of Romero capitalizing on him dropping those hands. And both landing. Alvin Tam has a very tough chin as well. 
Both fighters are tough and used to taking damage. Alan Tam is a very stout fighter, and you see a lot of his power ends up coming from his hips. Uh, and he will throw in a lot of his punches. You'll see the footwork as he puts his hips into it will turn his hips into every single punch. Not quite sure what that was. It was a very odd angle from our perspective. Of the head, Alvin calling for that touch of the gloves. And Romero doing, uh, turning it off again. The right hand that came from Alvin Tam has been landing that right hand pretty effectively in this round. Good head movement by Alvin Tam. Great answer, multiple combination of the body followed by that left hook. Toe to toe, both fighters trying to create angles with the shoulders. Ooh. That exchange going to Romero. You heard that one. Oh, huge shot landed by Alvin Tam. Visibly rocked Romero for about half a second, but keeps his composure and back on his own assault. There's a right hand and a second right hand that lands from Romero. Tam throws back Romero again with a right hand. He's landed three good right hands in a short time. There's a short jab by Alvin Tam. Both fighters landing significant strikes each time. Man, this is a close one. A punch lands to the body, a return from the head from the opponent on either side. This is probably our closest contest so far tonight. Both fighters leaving their own exclamation point. See, and I always ask this question about any time that you get you get hit for really well and a boxer will step back and, and say, hey, is that all you got? But all you're doing is indicating to the judges that you just got hit. And sometimes the judge can't see the angle whether someone gets hit or not. And by giving them an indication, there's a right hand that rocks Romero. It's just, I, I don't, I've never understood it. To me, I agree with you. It, it's acknowledging the shot to the, the judges. And although there may be some... Ayan po. Tapos na po ang round three. Uh, round four na po ang susunod. Panoorin niyo po to sa mga hindi pa manapanood. Mananak doon po dito si Romero Rotero. Siya po isang Mexican. Every time you taunt like that, saying, hey, it didn't hurt me, you're again acknowledging the fact that it hurt you. We have been thus far, I'm, uh, you know, other than one, I think we've been on point throughout the night. As you see, as we get on to round four. Oh, quick time called. Oh, forgot the mouth guard. That's an important piece of equipment that you just cannot proceed without. Andy Social being doing a good job at recognizing that. Start to see a little bit of the damage forming underneath the eyes of, uh, of Romero. Might be a bit of scar tissue that's swelling up from the years of being a professional boxer, but... Left yep. hand that lands. Nice setup by Tam. Good return by Romero, and then a right hand by Alvin Tam. There's a good left hand from Romero, returned by three good punches that land from Alvin Tam. An overhand right from Romero that lands. Now Tam coming back. Every time the punishment is delivered, the opponent is responding, and that is what makes an exciting fight. This is one that the fans are definitely enjoying here this evening. Oh, oh that is a knockdown punch, and that is a massive shot! Ayan po, knockdown na po siya dyan sa round four. Tingnan po natin. He's up to seven, now eight, now nine. He's going to take the step up. Andy Social is going to have a look at him. Oh, he is rock. Andy Social is trying to make sure. No, nope, and that's an end. When you walk the other direction, that is a clear sign. Alvin Tam, the victor. Unbelievable fight. An amazing left hand. It was the right, followed by the left. That ended that fight. Alvin Tam catching him. An amazing shot by the assassin. Now showing it off right here. Why they give him that name. Two straight wins for him. Pushing his record to 15 and 6. And he landed 
two huge shots and hear the crowd in Calgary cheering on their hometown guy as Alvin Tam with a phenomenal knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee and... Ayan po. Actually, marami pong magagaling na mga atlet po dito sa Pilipinas. Kaso ang government po ng Pilipinas, eh, walang pondo sa ano. Hindi po pinupondohan ng mga sports games. Gaya po na lang ni, ano, Hedilin na yan. Nagipag-compete ngayon noong nakaraang, ano, dito sa Tokyo, Japan. Nanalo po siya ng gold. Siya po ay walang suporta ng gobyerno din. Sarili po niyang mga, ano, yung mga ginamit niya sa mga practice po niya, tapos pangailangan niya sa kanyang pagtitraining. Pero nung nanalo po siya, ay marami pong nag-approach nag sa kanya. And the social stops the bout at 1 minute and 14 seconds of the fourth round. The winner by knockout in the right corner, Alvin Baby Vincent Tim Al officially has his record up to four, uh, 15 and 6. Ayan po. Panood po natin ang laban ni Alvin Tam kontra kay Romero Rotero ng Mexican. Sa lahat po ng mga nanonood, nanonood dito, sana po subscribe niyo po ang aking channel Highlander WFO. Maraming maraming salamat po. And a great victory for him and something that he thinks is definitely a stepping stone to continuing on his career and getting back into the conversation of one of the best fighters in the world.